Es sería ¿Eh? Judy. Judy. Hi. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? I'm fine, and you? How are you? Great, great. I'm so happy. Working. Yeah. Where were you? You're working. Yes. Ah, you're working in the exercise. <laughs> in the exercise. Ah, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. You are almost in the in the final. Thank you. The final. Uh, in the final part, right? Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. And uh, I see. Thank you. Okay. Ay, hoy solo me queda el examen, dicho. Perfect. Nice. <risa> lo más fácil le queda. Y Roberto ya lo hizo. Yes, final. Mm. Nice, excellent. Mm, qué chido. <risa> no, ahora que no se tan... Eso es easy. Ajá. No, no, no tiene muchas partes, así que tengan que escribir así oraciones completas o preguntas completas, sino que hay una que otra palabrita o algo. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Igual, usted no se aflige si no lo pasa la primera. Acuérdese que le da puntitos por, 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 las, por las respuestas este, correctas que usted tenga. Igual, después de haberlo hecho, usted puede revisar su proceso y eh, su progreso, perdón. Uh -huh. Y si ya tiene el 80%, pues ya se quita un peso encima, ya puede analizarlo más así detenidamente para ver qué está fallando y. Para lograr más del 80, ¿verdad? Pero sí, lo recomendable es por lo menos uh -huh. el 80. Uh -huh. Ok. Hi, Carlos. Yes. Hi, how are you? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are I'm you? Fine. How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo el día? Uh, uh, very well. Very nice. Excellent. Excellent. Very nice. All right. ¿En qué parte va Carlos de, de la plataforma? Ya, ya terminé, teacher. Ya terminó también. Excellent. Nice. Nice, nice. nice. Solo yo falto. No, es para que vea que está bien fácil. No, no está muy complicado. Hey, teacher, you are a teacher in the next class? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. Usualmente casi siempre los cambian, nos rotan a todos ahí. Entonces ahí sí no uh -huh. sé cómo, cómo lo van a manejar. Sin embargo, eh, por ahí alguien estuvo diciendo, ¿verdad? Que no le parecía eso que se estuviera cambiando los maestros. Eh, pues si la mayoría, si la mayoría eh, determina lo mismo, puede hacer que se mantengan los mismos maestros. O por lo menos en la universidad donde yo trabajo, lo manejan así. Siempre es así. Dos uh -huh. módulos con una persona, digamos otros dos módulos con otra, para que se acostumbren a la metodología de cada maestro. ¿verdad? Pero ahí ellos van a decidir. Pero sí, me imagino que van a tomar en cuenta las, las opiniones, ¿verdad? Ahí después nos daremos cuenta y, y ahí les vamos a informar, ahí les vamos a mandar un mensaje en el WhatsApp. Uh -huh. It's okay. Uh -huh. Hi, Carolina, how are you? Hi. How's everything? ¿Cómo estamos? Fine, thank you. Excellent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like I have so many emails. Okay, Carolina, ¿en qué parte va de la de la plataforma? Mm, ya la terminé. Ya la terminé también. Excelente. Mm -hmm. También el examen. Sí. Ah, okay. Nice, nice. Congratulations. Me pasaron algunos, pero. <laughs> pero logró el 80. Sí, el 100. Ah, okay. Perfect. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. Ya está. Uh -huh. no a ver, Rosy. Que, al, que a uh -huh. última hora no pudiera. <risa> uh -huh. Ya ver, Rosy. Si se puede, si se puede. Uh -huh. Yo sé que va a lograr el 100% también. 
Solo yo falto. ¿Y a ver? ¿Por dónde va? ¿Mm? ¿Por dónde va? No, ahorita ya solo el examen me falta. Ah. Yo digo que lo más fácil le falta, pero no me creo. <risa> Voy a empezar a probar ahora. Vaya, pa. Ahí va, ya pasó. A dólar ya sacado. A dólar ya sacado. En serio. <risa> a dólar ya sacado. Vende el examen. <risa> All right. So, mientras se conectan sus compañeros, vamos a iniciar. Okay. So, welcome back. Bienvenidos nuevamente. Uh, this is going to be the last class of the module. Okay, vamos a hacer la última clase del módulo. And uh, we're going to do a couple of activities to practice. Okay. De hecho, la mayoría solo vamos a ver una pequeña parte de... de, de digamos, nuevo, entre comillas, y luego vamos a ponernos a practicar bastante, ¿ok? So, uh, solo para que nos enfoquemos, vamos a estar trabajando con el ING, ¿ok? Eh, ayer estuvimos haciendo una actividad muy, muy, me gustó bastante porque estuvimos participando bastante y probablemente la volvamos, eh, bueno, sí, la vamos a repetir ahora o nuevamente, pero con diferente, una imagen diferente, ¿ok? Para que podamos practicar más. So, hi Hugo, hi Yader. Welcome back. Okay. Thank you. So, como decíamos, yeah, you're welcome. Como decíamos, estamos trabajando con el present continuous, okay? Activities that we are doing right now, y aunque en la imagen los muñequitos no se estén moviendo, están haciendo una acción, okay? Entonces, eso eh, nos va a ayudar a que a que a que practiquemos ese tema, okay? Entonces decíamos que solo le grabamos ING, okay, working, walking, driving, taking a bus, brushing my teeth, taking a break, having breakfast, etc. Okay. So, eso es lo que hemos venido estudiando hasta ahora. Y el día de ayer estuvimos haciendo ese pequeño ejercicio. Okay. Teníamos una imagen donde grabamos eh, a diferentes personas y animales uh, doing some actions, okay, for example, flying, running. Uh, sitting down, drinking something, sleeping, okay? And we were doing this, uh, these questions. No, no, no decíamos exactamente quién era, sino que solo pensábamos in a person or in an animal y hacíamos la pregunta. Is the person, for example, is the person sleeping? Is the person playing an instrument? Is the person uh, swimming? Okay? O en el caso de un animal, okay, is the animal... Uh, Running is the animal playing. Uh, is the animal uh, eating? Okay, and successivamente. Okay, so vamos a hacer mente esto, solo que con una imagen diferente. Okay, are you ready? Vamos a ver. Yes. A ver qué les parece ahora. Okay. Aquí van a ver varias actividades que probablemente no sepan cómo decir en inglés, pero me pueden preguntar, teacher, how do you say in English? Okay. So, le voy a dar un minuto para que se fijen bien en todo lo que está pasando acá. We have animals. We have people. Okay. We have different objects. We have different situations. Okay. We have different elements. Okay. And just for you to remind, okay. Remember, you need to say actions, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, riding a bicycle, sitting down, eating, okay, or something. And we also we are going to work with clothing, okay? También vamos a trabajar con la, con la, con la, con la ropa, okay? Decíamos el día de ayer que a la hora de vestir usamos la palabra wear. En este caso sería wearing, okay? Wearing. La voy a volver a escribir por acá para que lo tengamos claro. Wearing, okay. For example, wearing a blue shirt, wearing black pants, wearing purple, uh, purple shirts, um, wearing yellow shirt, okay. Eso significa usando, okay. Wearing. No, no decimos using, sino que wearing, okay. Wearing. 
Así que vamos a empezar nuevamente. Vamos a hacer preguntas. Okay? Is the animal, is the person? So I am going to be the first one. Okay? I am going to be the first one. So can you ask me questions, please? It is a person. Okay? It is a person. Mm -hmm. It is a person. So you tell me some actions and I'm going to say yes or no. Mm -hmm. He is riding a bicycle. Is the person riding a bicycle? No. No, he isn't. Uh -huh. Is the person sitting? Is the person sitting? Yes. Yes, he is. Uh, is the person... Uh, is this person reading a news, newsletter? A newspaper? Uh-huh, a newspaper. Newspaper. Uh, no, he isn't. Is the person eating? Is the person eating? No, it is. No, he isn't. Uh -huh. Is the person using socks? Is the person wearing socks? Uh -huh. Wearing, wearing socks. socks? Uh, uh -huh. Yes, he is. Red socks? Red socks. Uh -huh. uh, no, let me see. See. Sí. <laughs> yes, teacher. They are, oh yeah, yeah, we can say First, uh, uh -huh. Yes, he is. Tirar. Throwing. Huh? Throwing. Throwing. Let me Follow. Uh -huh. Tirando. Throw. Throwing. Uh -huh. Throw. Uh -huh. Throwing. 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 Uh -huh. Is the person yeah. throwing seeds? Yes, he is. Okay, so it is this person. Uh -huh. Perfect. Okay, you got okay. it. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Carlos, do you have a person or an animal? Ready? <laughs> person. A person, okay. Let's see. Is the person uh, standing? You know, parado, standing? Mm, no. Okay. Standing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is this person riding a bicycle? A bicycle. No. No. Is the person running? Mm. No, he isn't. Mm -hmm. Is this person crying? Llorando, crying? Uh -huh. No. Mm -hmm. Is the person sitting? Uh -huh, sentado? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, is he the is. Person, is the person reading newspaper? No. Uh -huh. Is the person waving cup? Yes. Ah. Uh -huh. So is this boy? Is, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. What is he eating? Yes. He's eating an apple, right? Yes, he's eating. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's eating an apple. Uh -huh. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, Kat. Let's see, Rosie, do you have one person or one animal? Animal. Oh, it's an animal. Let's see. Yes. Is the animal swimming? No. Hmm. Is the animal crying? No. Is the animal flying? No. 
Is the animal running? Running. Eh, running. No. No, corriendo no. Uh -huh. Corriendo. Uh -huh. ¿Ah? Corriendo, corriendo no. Uh -huh. No. Ah, okay. no, no. Sí, perro, pero tiene ruedas. <risa> is, the, is the animal reading a... ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Monociclo? Monociclo. Monociclo. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, it's the unicorn. Ah, the unicorn. Yes. Yes. <laughs> nice. Excellent. Excellent. Ok, Hugo, do you have an animal or a person? I'm sorry, no, no here. Ah, do you have a person or an animal? Do you have a person or an animal uh, selected? You know, you need to choose one. Mm -hmm. Did you see Hugo? O sea, no nos escucha. Hugo, Hugo, nos escucha. Que se tiene problemas. Ok, let's see. Yader, do you have a person or an animal? I have um, an animal. An animal, ok. Mm -hmm. Is the animal running? No, he not. Mm -hmm. Is the animal flying? No, he not flying. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. No, it isn't. Is uh -huh. Because it is an animal. No, it isn't. Uh -huh. Is the animal swimming? No, it isn't. Is the animal crying? No, it isn't. Uh -huh. How do you say rueda? Rueda. Rueda. Wheel? Okay. Wheel. It's an animal walking wheels. No, it isn't. Uh -huh. Is the animal riding a bicycle? Yes. Ah, it's a turtle. 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 Uh -huh. The yeah. turtle. Uh -huh. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, Roberto, do you have an animal or a person? I show is an uh, animal. An animal, okay. Is the animal flying? No, it's not. Is the animal swimming? No, it is not. Is the animal escarbar como se dice? Ah, um, carving? Is the animal carving? No, he's not. Mm -hmm. Is the animal walking? Mm, yes. Hmm. Is the animal mm. Let's see, what is it doing? Is the animal the color yellow? Not, it's not. Ah, okay. Is the animal brown color? Yes, is it? Is the dog? Yes. Ah, it's a dog. Ah, okay. Where? Ah, yeah, it's, it's a dog. Uh -huh. No, it's no. Yeah, color it's yellow. The color is yellow. Uh, the color is brown. Uh -huh. Brown <laughs> with woman. What is him? On the woman um, wearing red. To left. To left. left. What is it? Yes, it is. Midlay. Okay. Midlay of the N page. Ne next oh. to the sitting, the, the guy's sitting. Next to the guy's sitting. Mm -hmm. Um. This dog? Yes. Ah, ah. Walking okay. in wheels. 
Oh, this one. Yeah. Yes. yes. Ah, yes. okay, okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, it, it doesn't look like it's running. ¿Cómo se, cómo se diría para ubicarlo en la página? Eh, next to the woman in red. Uh -huh. O para decir eh, al centro a la izquierda. Ah, mm, the problem is that in the center and to the left is like this one. <laughs> Mm. Uh -huh. So it will be like, yeah, next to the woman in red or, uh, yeah, I think that's the best one mm -hmm. because she's wearing red or next to the woman with purple, purple hair, mm -hmm. uh -huh. with purple hair. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see, Carolina, do you have a, an animal or a person? A person. Okay. A person. Uh -huh. Is the person eating? Eating? Uh -huh. Eating food or something? Uh, yes. Ah. Mm -hmm. Another question? Is the person walking? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is this person wearing cap yellow? Yeah. Or yellow cap? Ah, so that was easy. <laughs> Is the person yeah. next to the guy, right? Next to yeah. the guy. Uh -huh. Very easy. Very easy. Very easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Who's missing? Let's see, Hugo? Yes, yes. Uh, you participated already or not? Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, a person or an animal? Uh, a person. It's a person, okay. Is the person riding a bicycle? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is the person wearing a, a white cap? No. Gorra, gorra roja. No, gorra blanca, le pregunto. Uh -huh. Ah, sí, gorra uh -huh. blanca, perdón. Uh -huh. So he said no. Uh -huh. It's a person not... wearing uh, t-shirt uh, yellow. Yes. Uh, okay, is the person... We're in a yellow shirt. Uh -huh. um, is the person um, wearing short brown? Color brown? Yes. Yeah. Um, is a person cap yellow gorra amarilla o como un sombrero amarillo no sé qué será eso <laughs> yeah but I think it's this one right Hugo yes yes es, ah, como, un casco, ajá. Bueno. Ajá, es como un casco mero raro como que dona se le ve en la cabeza no sé <laughs> ok mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's see, ¿quién falta? Carlos, ¿ya no se puede escuchar? No, Carlos creo que participó. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. ¿Quién era Hugo? No. Hugo ya participó también. Yeah. Yes, right. Okay, so I'm going to do the last one, okay? Voy a hacer el último, let's see. Mm -hmm. It is... Person or animal. It is a person. Mm -hmm. It's a person. Is the person reading a bike? Uh, no, he isn't. Person walking? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, 
walking. Is the person a woman? Uh, yes, she is. Uh, is the person next to the man? Is the person next, next to the man? Man, um, teacher, blue teacher. A blue sweater. teacher. A blue sweater. sweater. Ah, no, no, she isn't. No. Mm -hmm. Mm, it's a woman walking. Person wearing. Um, violet dress. A violet dress. Uh, no, she isn't. Dress or dress or blouse. Violet. Uh -huh, a, blade, a violet blouse. No, she isn't. Mm -hmm. Mm. Is that person reading the newspaper? Uh, no, she isn't. Is that person wearing shirt uh, pink? Uh, no, she isn't. <clears throat> she's walking. Yeah, she's walking. Uh -huh. mm. She have a, she, she's work, working. She's uh, wearing a red shirt and red pants. Uh, white shirt no, and red pants. Mm. A high school. Red shirt and red uh, pants. Red, no, mm -hmm. no, she isn't. She's walking, teacher. She's walking. Uh -huh. With with a man. Uh -huh. As blue pants, blue pants, yes. and big pink t-shirt. Yes. Uh huh. Yes, she is. She is walking along. No, she's not walking no. along. She's walking with a man with a pink shirt and blue uh, pants. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, so yeah, you got it. It's next to him, okay? So it is this girl. Uh -huh. This girl. Uh -huh. What does she have in her hands? What do you think? Is it bread? Skirt. What does she have in her in her jacket? Black jacket. Uh -huh, black jacket. A skirt, jacket. Blue. And blue skirt. Uh huh. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So basically, this is how we use uh, the present continuous. Okay. Como les mencionaba, yo sé que no se están moviendo así todos ahí en, en tiempo real, pero por lo menos están haciendo algo. Entonces eso nos ayuda. Y de igual manera se puede describir cualquier okay. eh, Actividad que tanto nuestros family members como cualquier otra persona estén haciendo. Okay. Por ejemplo, eh, my father is watching TV, my mother is sleeping, and my sister is chatting or watching a movie. Okay. So this is how we use the present continuous. Remember, we can use it in negative too. Okay. Uh, we are going to use not. Okay. Like he is not. Uh, drinking soda, she's not driving, and uh, my sister is not uh, reading a book, okay? So that's how we continue. And you, the questions, you made the questions, okay? Ustedes acaban de hacer bastantes preguntas, así que así se, se también se, se hacen las preguntas, okay? Perfect. Now we are going to continue with the last topic, okay? And for this, we're going to practice a short conversation, okay? Let's listen. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I am an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. Ah, I didn't know that. What about Marcus? Oh, sorry, what about you, Marcus? Ah, I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. OK? 
Okay. Uh, do you see any new word? Alguna palabra nueva que no, que no eh, la manejen? Nowadays. 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 Uh -huh. nowadays. For example, um, nowadays would be hoy en día. Uh -huh. Hoy en día. Okay. Uh -huh. So most families in China have only one child. Nowadays, okay? Hoy en día o como en esos tiempos, okay? Nowadays. Uh -huh. Another one? Oh, we have child. What is the plural of child? Children. Mm -hmm. Children. Children, uh -huh. children. Uh -huh. No usamos la S para ese plural, sino que nada más children, okay? Children, okay? Uh, so listen one more time, and then I'm going to ask you to uh, read the conversation, okay? How many brothers and sisters do you have, Maylee? Actually, I am an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that, a, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get a lot of uh, birthday presents. Okay, let's see. Um, Carlos, you are going to be Marcos, okay? And Rosy, you're going to be Meili. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Let's do it. Okay. How many brother and sister do you have, Meili? Actually, um, I am only child. Really? Yeah, most family in China have only one child nowadays. I did know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have two brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but the family are great because there are a lot of people present. Perfect, excellent, thank you. Let's see, Yader, you are Marcos, and um, Carolina, you are Maybe. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Melly? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most family in China have only one child. Not a not that days. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, it's that typical in Peru? No, really. A lot of family are smaller these days, but big family are great because to get up, get lots of birthday present. Excellent, nice, thank you. And finally, Roberto, you are going to be Marcus and Let's see who's missing. And uh, Alfredo. Hi, Alfredo. You are mainly, okay? Hi, teacher. Uh -huh. It's okay. Yep. Uh -huh. Brothers and sisters, do you have mainly? Actually, I am only child. Really? Yeah, most family in Chin in China have only child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have a three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get a lot of uh, birthday present. Okay, perfect. Thank you. 
All right, everybody, let's repeat. Nowadays. 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 Okay. Nowadays. 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 Okay, excellent. So we're going to see one part that's called quantifiers. Okay. This means quantity. Okay. Uh, however, we are not going to use any specific number. Okay. We are not going to say one. We are not going to say two. Okay. We're going to use these phrases to refer to an specific, uh, to a non-specific number of people, okay? No necesariamente vamos a decir si es uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, sino que de manera general, okay? Por ejemplo, si es un ansiel por ciento lo que hacen las personas, okay? Eh, o lo que las personas tienen, vamos a usar all, nearly all, o incluso most, okay? Por ejemplo, all people have a cell phone, okay? All people have a cell phone. O podríamos decir que tal vez hay un pequeño porcentaje que no lo tiene, entonces, nearly all people have a cell phone, okay? Nearly all. Nearly significa casi todo, okay? Casi todo. Nearly all. Nearly all people have a cell phone. What about most? Ahí sería un poco más, eh, un poco más grande la, 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 la cantidad de personas que no, pero aún así es pequeña. Entonces sería, most people have a cell phone. ¿Ok? Se traduce como la mayoría. Most people have a cell phone. ¿Ok? So, can you tell me uh, something that all people have? Mm -hmm. All people have, or all, all people... people. Uh -huh. All people have a TV. Ah, yeah. Okay. All people one TV. have a TV. Uh -huh. One TV at least. Uh -huh. Most people have a car. Uh huh. Most people have a car. Uh huh. Something else? Nearly all people take a shower. Ah, excellent. Okay. Yeah, we think, right? It's a cierto otra cosa, right? <laughs> But yeah, nearly all people have a, ha, sorry, nearly all people take a shower. Uh -huh, excellent. Also nearly. Most people have uh -huh. a job. Ah, most people have a job, ah, probably, okay. Most people have a job. Uh -huh. I think nearly all people brush their teeth in the morning, right? Otherwise, mm -hmm. Okay, that's, that's a smelly. <laughs> okay. I think all people have a mother, probably. Okay. Most no. people have uh -huh. internet. Ah, uh -huh. most people have internet. Okay. All we can say, most restaurants have internet. Okay. Most restaurants have internet. Yeah, because we can describe people, we can describe places, we can describe objects, okay. For example, all teachers uh, can speak English. All teachers can speak English. English teachers, okay? English teachers. Uh -huh. So what other things can we describe using all, nearly all, and most? Uh -huh. What about all the uh, people in El Salvador? What do you think? What are some activities no. that? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Think about El Salvador, some activities. Uh -huh. What do we eat in the morning? What do you think? Mm -hmm. All people eat pupusas. Excellent. I was waiting for that. Okay. All people eat pupusas in El Salvador. Okay. All people eat pupusas in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. So that's how uh, we can say that maybe it is a hundred percent, okay? A hundred percent. Now we can go uh, lower, okay? We can go lower. I will say that this is like a, maybe a 60%, okay? A 60 or a 65 or almost 70, sorry? Like a 70%, okay? For example, many persons or many people have a house, 
a lot of people have a house. Some people have a house, okay? In this case, it was like, ooh, very high, right? But now we have less, okay? We have less. For example, um, I would say that some people in El Salvador have a job, okay? Because there are some other people that don't have a job. What other things can we describe in El Salvador? It is not many for people. all. Uh -huh. Yes? Many, many people in El Salvador have a pet. Ah, excellent. Yeah. Many people in El Salvador have a pet. Uh -huh. Excellent. What else? A lot of people have a car. Ah, a lot of people have a car. Okay. Because not all people have a car. Okay. Maybe a lot of, but not all. Okay. Not all, all the people. Not all the people. Another example. Some, some, some people uh, speak English. Ah, perfect. Some people speak English. Uh -huh. Nice. Mm -hmm. Some places are interesting for ah. the tourists. Ah, excellent. Some places are interesting for the tourists. Okay. Yeah, in El Salvador, we have many places that are very interesting. Okay. So, yeah, some places mm -hmm. or many places are interesting. Uh -huh. Excellent. One, one sentence more. Some people get up late in the week. Ah, yeah. Some people get up late in the week. That's true. Okay, that's true. Now we're going to go lower. Vamos a ir más abajo. Okay, un menos porcentaje. Not many, a few, or few. Okay. For example, uh, at least in Metapan, in Metapan, okay, not many people have a car. Okay. Not many people have a car, okay? Or only a few people have a car. Mm -hmm. What about in other parts of the country or in other parts of the world, okay? It can be another, it can be another country. Mm -hmm. A few, not many. Um... Not many, <clears throat> not many countries take care of the environment. Ah, perfect. Okay, not many countries take care of the environment. Uh -huh. Take care of the environment. Uh -huh. Perfect. Few people in El Salvador have a good salary. Ah, excellent. A few people in El Salvador have a good salary. Uh -huh. Excellent. Mm -hmm. um, in San Salvador, mm -hmm. uh, not many people have a water. Ah, okay. In San Salvador, not many people have water. Mm -hmm. Okay. One more. One more. I can say that, for example, a, f a, a few, few uh -huh. a few, uh, or few. Uh, uh -huh. It can be both. Few uh -huh. people have swimming pools in the house. A few swimming mm. pools in the house. No, es este arriba. Uh -huh. A lot of, no, not many, not many. Uh -huh. Like not many, not many people have a swimming pool. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Not many people have house. a swimming pool in the house. Yeah. It's like maybe some people, I mean, like a few people probably. Okay. But in the neighborhood, in a colonia, maybe one. Okay. We don't know, right? We don't know. Also, I can say that a few places in El Salvador are dangerous. Okay. Or many, what do you think? <laughs> I can say that a few a few places in El Salvador are dangerous. Many. A many, many. place. Really? Huh. Wow. 
in El Salvador, yeah. a few people have access to a health service private. Ah, excellent. Okay. In El Salvador, a few people have access to private health. Okay. Or private, uh -huh, private health. Uh -huh. Perfect. And finally, we have zero. Okay. Zero, which is no one. Okay. No one. In this case, uh, pica, eh, nadie. Okay. No one. Nadie. Ajá, uh -huh, nadie. And then, no podemos decir people, porque desde ya estamos diciendo nadie, ¿ok? Este sería el sujeto, ¿ok? En vez de people, tendríamos eh, esto, no one, ¿ok? Entonces, lo voy a subrayar para que veamos que en este caso, people es el sujeto. Acá, persons es el sujeto, ¿ok? Y en la, en la última, eh, no one sería el sujeto, ¿ok? Así que le voy a quitar esto para que no nos confundamos. Y eh, después de no one tendría que poner una actividad o cualquier cosa, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, en El Salvador, I think no one has an airplane. Only the president, I think. But no one has an airplane, ¿ok? Uh -huh. What other things do you think? In El only Salvador? Osiris Luna. <laughs> ok, only Osiris. Uh -huh. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. I think no one in El Salvador has an elephant, okay? Mm -hmm. No one filed the finally exam. No one uh file or approve. Ah, no one approves. Uh -huh. An exam. Ah, uh, final exam, yes. Why? <laughs> uh-huh. This is uh, very easy. Ah, okay. It's very easy. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, another no one. Uh -huh. No one fly to the moon. Ah, no one uh, flights to the moon. Uh -huh. No one flights sí. to the moon. Okay. Uh -huh. So that's impossible, right? That's impossible. Uh -huh. Another example? No one in El Salvador have coronavirus. Ah, excellent. Okay. No one in El Salvador has coronavirus. Okay. Eso Supposed. esperamos. Yeah, supposed, right? <laughs> uh -huh. I think no one in El Salvador, um, no one in El Salvador, I, I forget. Um, uh, no one uh -huh. in El Salvador use parapente. Yes. No sé cómo se dice. Is use parapente. No sé cómo se dice parapente en inglés. Ah, es como el paracaídas. Parapente. Parapente, el, el deporte ese que hacen de. Uh -huh. Parece paracaídas. Ah, uh -huh. es, es, es parachute, se llama en, 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 en inglés. Lo voy a escribir aquí. Parachute. Pa paciencia, ¿cómo se dice, Ticho? <risa> paciencia. Patience. Patience. No, pues en El Salvador no one has patience. In the traffic, <risa> right? In the traffic, no one has patience. <risa> uh -huh, uh -huh. That's a good example. Okay. En El Salvador, no one can stay underwater. 10 minutes. Ah, excellent. Okay. No one can stay, can stay underwater for 10 minutes. Yeah, that's impossible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. Okay. So this is how we use uh, quantifiers. Okay. We have different quantities. Okay. Tenemos diferentes cantidades o diferentes porcentajes. We have all, nearly all, and most. La mayoría se parecen. Diría que solo all sería un 100%. Luego, nearly all, digamos ahí por un 99%. Y most, aún así es un 95, 96%. ¿Ok? Y luego va bajando, many, a lot of, or some, not many, a few, or few, hasta no one. ¿Ok? Esa sería la el el, el, el única excepción, que no one sería el sujeto. ¿Ok? Luego tenemos people, places, uh, houses. ¿Ok? 
For example, some houses have Wi-Fi or, yeah, a lot of houses have Wi-Fi, okay, or most houses. A lot of, mm -hmm. a lot of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of, right? A lot of. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so any questions? All right. Acordémonos que people, de por sí people, ya está, ya está en plural, ¿ok? Es igual que children, que no se, no se le agrega eso, ¿ok? Uh, persons, sí, ahí sí, ¿ok? Podemos, podemos decir people o persons, no hay problema. Uh -huh. All right. So, uh, antes de despedirme, eh, les quiero informar que, eh, según eh, inglés corporativo, tenemos la información que pues, tiene hasta el domingo para terminar el examen, ¿ok? Para los que aún no lo han terminado y los que ya lo terminaron, pues, felicidades. Solo nos queda la entrega de documentos, ¿ok? También nos estaban haciendo hincapié en eso, que se los mencionemos. Eh, que vayan a dejar los documentos lo más pronto posible. Ya que se espera iniciar el siguiente módulo el 2 de enero, ¿ok? El 2 de enero. Entonces... ¿2 de marzo? 2 de marzo. Ah, perdón, perdón, 2 de marzo. <risa> 30 de febrero. 30 de febrero, exacto. Ajá, el 30 de febrero. <ríe> ok, el 2 de marzo, perdón. El 2 de marzo, ya estoy en otro lado ahorita. Ok, entonces, este, sí, se pide que, que, que se entreguen los documentos lo más antes posible para no tener ningún retraso, ¿verdad? Porque solo esperaríamos esa semana y luego en marzo ya estaríamos iniciando el, el próximo módulo. Por ahí Rosy me estaba preguntando si siempre sería yo el que esté encargado del módulo. Sinceramente no sé, ¿ok? Eso siempre se trata de que todos los, todos los módulos sean un docente diferente. Pero como les mencionaba, si la mayoría pone, o sea, no solo en ese, en ese módulo, sino que en los demás módulos, que fuese necesario que se quede un solo maestro, pues creo que ellos lo van a tener en cuenta, ¿ok? De lo contrario, si es posible que tengan un nuevo maestro para cada módulo. Así que eh, instarlos a que traten de terminar la plataforma para evitar complicaciones, ¿ok? Se puede terminar el sábado mucho que mejor, o incluso mañana, ya que no tenemos clases. Eh, puede tratar de terminarlo eh, a su ritmo. Acuérdese que le da puntos por las respuestas correctas. Si hay unas incorrectas, no se aflija. Puede estar viendo su progreso para ver si llega al 80%, ¿ok? Así que tiene tiempo para hacer todo eso. Eh, de mi parte, eh, le doy muchas gracias a todos por la paciencia. Y por su participación, espero que hayan aprendido eh, algo en ese, en, ese, en, ese, en ese módulo. Yo sé que probablemente algunas cosas ya lo sabían, pero no está de más practicar. ¿okay? Así que muchas gracias. Have a good night. ¿okay? Y cualquier duda en cuanto al examen, eh, a lo que respecta de los siguientes días, alguna, algún ejercicio que, que les cueste o algo por ahí, ya saben cómo contactarme. Y pues espero verlos pronto en el futuro. Ok. Ok. okay. Gracias a usted, teacher. Have a good night and uh, have a nice weekend. Good night. Bye. bye. Ok. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. See you later, guys. See you later. Bye.